Welcome to Reddit Recap. Don't forget to subscribe. Reddit asks, people living in small towns, what's the recent scandal? Disclaimer. Not a small town scandal. Just neighborhood news. A gang was trying to extort a grocery store owner. They spray painted a threat on the side of his building and showed up the next day when employees were cleaning it off. The grocery store owner goes back inside, grabs a gun, and shoots one of them. Also, my brother-in-law found a lost cell phone while he and my husband were jogging. As they got home the cell phone rang. My bill answered. And it was the police. A smoke shop had been robbed and the robbers took all the employees cell phones so they couldn't call the cops and ditched them a few blocks away and they wanted to collect it for evidence. A couple months ago someone left their fire pit in their driveway for a few days. They received a mailed letter from an anonymous neighbor shaming them for making the neighborhood look bad. The recipient then posted the letter on the town's Facebook page. People ran with it and created the first annual front yard fire night. Somebody in town has a bunch of mannequins in their front yard. Town wanted to decommission the airport. The people did not. The people won. There are no scandals in my town. The town authorities cover everything up. A substitute teacher at the high school started smoking a joint in class in front of students. Edit. Apparently it was some kind of weed pen. Not an actual joint. Terrible heroin epidemic. Brother's best friend who was fairly close to our family overdosed a few days ago. My brother only has maybe two childhood friends left because of this. The town went with the lowest bidder for a big roadwork contract. And it turns out they were totally unqualified for the job and were messing stuff up. So the town fired them and hired the second lowest bidder. Same thing. They're on their third contract and now I Ike. And the project which was supposed to be done this summer will hopefully be finished sometime next year. Our city council just voted to give themselves a 103% raise. Edit. For reference. The pay is low mid 20k currently. The raise puts the pay at 52k. The support is that more people will be able to get into office with the higher pay. And wages were stagnant from many years ago. So instead of the gradual pay increase over those years with cost of living. It's been adjusted to the current market today resulting in a significant jump. The overall trend from opposers is that they were blindsided and didn't get to vote on it like the last mayor said should happen. We don't know who but someone has been going around egging random cars and throwing full water bottles at people's windshields. Our town's more medium than small but whatever. A month or so ago a couple high school gangs got into a huge mosh pit fight. About 6 months or so ago a college student got arrested for beheading his mother. A few days ago. Amber Alert sent out an emergency message about a fellow in a green car who had stabbed his girlfriend and stolen their baby out of San Jose. Which is 3 hours north of us. Lo and behold. The guy was caught right at our own downtown gas station when the kidnapper accidentally locked the baby and his keys in his car. Which drew attention to him. A good Samaritan from an entirely different town. A tourist. Put the puzzle together. And put the guy in a headlock until the authorities arrived. Our newly elected mayor, who is a school teacher as well, caused a head-on car crash injuring two small children and the other car. She was found to be drunk and it was 330 p.m. on a weekday. The kicker. She wasn't charged with a crime, as of yet, but she did resign after considerable thought. Edit. Spelling. A vacant house exploded and no one is sure what caused it. My grandparents small town has had a recent outbreak of teenagers riding horses through the middle of downtown. While wearing nothing but fasa masks. It has happened a total of 3 times now. Always different kids. Always different horses. I left my small town years ago but I was home over thanksgiving and got an earful. The local grocery store was renovated expanded after 30 years and now everything's moved and you can't find nothing. I was home for 4 days and literally every new social interaction with people in town involved the goddamn grocery store and how awful it is now. Uh, spoiler. It actually looks quite nice and they hang signs over the aisles telling you where things are. You know. Like a grocery store. 
our local brewery is shutting down and many loyal patrons are feeling lost. Local middle school teacher is suspect in human trafficking. The guy that's been trolling our town's community Facebook page finally got banned. Lol. We have a tourist train. Runs from town A to town B. It was a particularly dry summer and the train started a fire that spread over 75,000 acres. The town is now suing the train station for loss of income, as we are a tourist town and our income is solely based off of tourism. And no one wants to go tour a smoky town in Colorado. I'm not sure of the exact number, but I think it's in the ballpark of tens of millions of dollars. The scandal in my town is always the same. Someone is sleeping with someone else's husband. Or the 50 year old dating the 18 year old. Well. The latest scandal is that the local amphibians experts are too busy to look at our village pond this year. We only want to make sure we make it good for the wildlife. So now we're on the hunt for an amphibian expert. Not really recent. But the owner of the petting zoo turned out to be a serial murderer and buried two corpses under the goat enclosure. A lot of kids volunteer there and walked over them unknowingly. He murdered the couple. And used their house. Car and money. Edit. He murdered more people before this couple that's why I called him a serial killer. Meth. But that's nothing new. Edit. The responses of it must be my state is kinda alarming. Someone posted some kind of dynamite into a mailbox and it blew up. Five year later they don't know who it is. Probably just teenagers being stupid. A teacher posted a link to a porn site on his website for class walk instead of the recent assignment. And got fired immediately. Apparently this wasn't his first offense. Edit. Holy cannoli this blew up. Not really a scandal per se but a man in my hometown beat up a bobcat that tried to attack his dog. The bobcat suffered to most injuries. Somebody's been murdering horses and PD is blaming wild boars. But at least a couple of the horses were shot so. Girlfriend works in a nursery in a medium sized town. A knife wielding intruder broke into the nursery and they had the entire building on lockdown. Thankfully nobody was hurt and the man was quickly apprehended. Edit. Didn't actually enter the building. He was spotted nearby. The nursery was still on lockdown and all the staff and children had to be evacuated to a safe room. In 2017. We had some kid going around to random porches and lighting bags of his own poop on fire. He never got caught. Nothing really. Other than a few porch pirates. Someone did shoot at one of them. But no one was injured at least. Since then it stopped for now. There's no police station in town and the nearest one is a half hour drive so sometimes we have to take matters into our own hands. Someone keeps throwing slices of cheese on cars in the next town over. The neighborhood Facebook page is in an uproar. Our town people are being vigilant that they don't bring their fuckery to our town. Bit of a rivalry between towns. Ours is your typical suburbia. Theirs is more rural and the people are referred to as pioneers. I follow it all for amusement. Two cousins just got married. The families all knew when they started dating and didn't say a word until they were in a committed relationship. They went ahead with it. Wasn't even very distant. My small town includes a pretty large zoo and a taper has recently escaped and is still at large. Man on a three-wheel bike shot at police and then ended up evading an entire town's police force via Uber. Drama class was interrupted by a cow giving birth in the field across from the school. The school gym teacher was fired after being caught masturbating in the equipment room. He was caught by two students. A few days later he killed himself. Everyone is a bit shaken up about it. It's more of a village but. Turns out the, now, 90 years old teacher that everyone had as a teacher wasn't just really forgetful. Turns out she was in a car crash and got short term memory loss. A local police department likes to post wanted pictures on its Facebook page. The other day. I saw one of their shitty wanted postings of some woman who is allegedly evading police for drug charges and intends to distribute. The suspect herself commented on the post and said. I'm not evading. 
I'm not on the run. I've been out of town. And when I come back I'm turning myself in. Maybe not a scandal. But I thought that was pretty funny. A pigeon got caught in the supermarket and it made front page of local news website with live updates. That's all for this video, you made it to the end. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing so you know when the next videos are released. Thanks for watching, have a good one.